Hi students, welcome. In this video, we are going to study about Varignan's theorem. It is also called as Varignan's principle of moments or law of moments. So students, here suppose this is the point A. On this point A, P and Q forces are acting and these forces are coplanar forces and these P and Q forces are equilibrium forces. Okay. So, uh, these two forces here forms parallelogram as you can see here and as per the law of parallelogram the diagonal of parallelogram gives us the resultant r of these two forces that is p and q so here the the force p and q has the resultant r as you can see here further here see let's take the point o as you can see here and when we calculate the moment of p and q forces about the point o then it, this the sum of these p and q uh, moment of p and q forces about point o will be equal to the moment of resultant r about the same point that is o okay we will prove this in this further lecture here now see suppose now we are we will connect these try this line with point o as you can see here further again we will connect this b point with o as you can see here with the red dotted line and we also connect this point this line as you can see here we will connect here o c line as you can we will connect c point with o as you can see here b point with o and a point with o as you can see here the red dotted lines okay now further see here moment of resultant r about point o that is moment of resultant r about point o is equal to moment of forces p and q about point o this equal to the moment of forces that is p and q in this case uh, will be equal uh, about moment of forces p and q about point o e, o okay as i have i had to have told you about this before okay now we will prove it so further seeing moment of force p let's take first moment of force p okay moment of force p about point o that is moment of this moment of this force p about point o is equal to 2 into triangle aob that is a o b this is the triangle okay as you can see here this a o and b how it is they let's we will prove it now so for that we will consider here this this uh, right angled triangle in this you can see this is the point o okay this is the point o and this is the force p okay this is the point o and on this uh, on this as you can see here this force is applied as you can see here at a distance of 3 meter so here when we we need to uh, find out the moment of this force about point o then we will take here this uh, value of this p force into the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the point about which we need to calculate the moment so here it will be 4 into 3 we will get it here from from this we will get here 12 so here see now moment of force p about point o that is moment of force p this one about point o is equal to the value of the force that is uh, here in this case 4 into the perpendicular distance between the force and the point about which we need to calculate the moment so here it is 3 so here 4 into 3 is 12 newton meter this is the moment of force about point o so now further here see area of triangle we know the formula half into base into height so here this is the this forms the triangle as you can see here okay so now half into base is here this that is value is 4 and height is h that is here value is 3 so here 3 so here from this we will get here 6 6 will be the area of triangle 6 units okay now further so from this we will get here c moment of force about point p 
सॉरी मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स पी अबाउट पॉइंट ओ इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल सो हियर इज इक्वल टू इन दिस केस ओके टू इंटू एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल इज सिक्स सो हियर सिक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सो वी हैव प्रूव इज प्रूव हियर दैट वी हैव प्रूव हियर दैट मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स अबाउट पॉइंट any point so here we have proved that moment of force about any point is equal to 2 into area of triangle so here we have proved that in this case moment of force p about point o is equal to 2 into triangle aob aob as you can see here so further now see second is here we will calculate the moment of force q about point o it is equal to 2 into triangle o aoc as you can see here this is the base of the this is the force and it belongs to triangle aoc okay further now see and uh, now we will see the resultant for resultant so moment of resultant r about point o is equal to 2 into triangle aod this is the resultant and it belongs to the triangle aod as you can see here so further seeing this we can write this triangle aod we can write down as the triangle aoc plus triangle acd okay as you can see here 2 into triangle aoc plus triangle acd aod we can write down as triangle AOD is the combination of triangle AOC and triangle ACD as you can see here further see as this is the parallelogram this ACD triangle is equal to ABD triangle so here as you can see is triangle ACD is equal to triangle ABD so we can change this triangle ACD to triangle ABD as both are the same triangle so here 2 into triangle aoc plus triangle abd further as you can see here a abd this is the triangle and this triangle is similar is equal to triangle aob because these both triangles have same base and they are at, at equal height okay as you can see here so here as you can see triangle abd is equal to triangle aoc that triangle ab abd is equal to triangle aoc aob sorry aob sorry here it should be aob okay this is triangle aob okay so triangle abd abd is equal to triangle aob because of they have same same base and equal height The, here i have mentioned aoc this is wrong it, it should be aob okay so further same 2 into triangle aoc that is triangle aoc plus triangle aob okay so here same as we know here we got here tri uh, this triangle abd abd is equal to triangle aob so we have written here triangle aob so further see from this we got here that this moment that is moment of resultant r about point o moment of as you can see here moment of resultant r about point o is equal to 2 into triangle aoc plus triangle aob as here you know triangle 2 into triangle aoc is our moment of force q about point o and 2 into triangle aob is our moment of force about moment of force p about point o so from that from this we got here that moment of resultant r about point o is equal to moment of forces p and q about point o we have proved this statement here so further now we will read the definition here wegener's theorem states that if a number of coplanar forces acting on a particle are in equilibrium then the algebraic sum of their moments about any point is equal to the moment of their resultant force about the same point okay 
So students, in this video, we have understood about Varignan's theorem. Thank you students for watching this video. Like, share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.